Hey guys, it's Hella Bella, and this video is going to be about my first 24 hours with my foster cats. And we have really done well. This is the first time I've ever fostered. And as you can see, they are already getting to know me, getting comfortable. And I was able to get a pair of sibling sisters. They have an upper respiratory infection. And so they just need a couple weeks to recover. They're about two or three weeks um, just shy of the age of uh, 12 weeks, which is when they can be adopted. So I have just, you know, decided to take them in for about 30 days. That's about the time that we have until we go on our next uh, vacation. And I don't think I could take much longer than that, or I would want to keep them forever. This one is so sweet. Her name is Pixie. And the other one's name is Skunk, and I'm just keeping their shelter names because I figure whoever adopts them will want to name them on their own. But they're just sweet kitties. I've never had a cat before, but I think I'm doing it right. Um, <laughs> right now, they have a setup in my bathroom. I'm not putting them in the rest of the house because I don't want the dogs to mess with them. I want them to feel comfortable. I want their area to be just some space for them because when they were at the animal shelter, they didn't have a lot of room. They're basically in just a metal box. I mean, if you've ever seen a shelter, then you know what that looks like. And they looked really sad at the shelter. They were all curled up together, but now they're just coming alive. They're playing, they're having a good time. And so I really think a couple weeks out of the shelter is gonna be good for them. And I'm gonna try to find them a placement before uh, I take them back. So I'll just try to find them a place to go. Um, but they are available for adoption in Florence, Alabama. They're really sweet cats. I mean, I don't know that you know, I'm really not a huge cat person, but maybe this is making me change my mind. Um, I was a little bit worried because I didn't know exactly what all that they would need. I knew, obviously, they need a litter box. They need food. They need, um, you know, some toys and things like that. But I didn't really know what all it would entail. But I feel like, you know, after doing a little bit of research, watching out a little bit of the kitten lady, um, I'm starting to kind of figure out, you know, what cats are about. Is that the first time you've ever seen a mirror? Because you're acting like it. Do you think you can take her? I think you can take her. I didn't buy that for you, but I can see that you like it. So I'm going to let this go. <laughs> The reason that I wanted to foster was because I want to be able to make a difference in their lives and also just help more animals get adopted. And fostering really, you know, they learn to be around people. They learn to, you know, certain behaviors, what to do, what not to do. And they're playing really gentle. They're not really anything that has bothered me so far, um, especially for some young kittens. Um, they're being really sweet. So like I said, their setup is in a really small room. Even though it's a small room, it's still like four or five times bigger than what they had before. So they're pretty excited to be here. They've been running around. They've been a lot more energetic than the day that um, they came home. They've been here for about 24 hours now. So they're starting to get a feel for their surroundings. I'm keeping them in the enclosed space at night, but in the daytime, we have got them out and kind of let them walk around room by room. Um, since we have three dogs, we're not able to, uh, somebody just jumped on me. Since we have three dogs, we're not able to just let them roam around the house. And I probably wouldn't do that anyways, because they're really small kittens and I don't want them to get lost or get stuck in something. They really love looking out the window, as you can see over there, that's something they've been doing. And they were scratching a little bit on my door and I just went and got a cat tower for like 20 bucks at Walmart and they stopped scratching everything else and started scratching that. So I would recommend doing that if you're going to bring kittens into your home. Definitely know where they're going to go because um, yeah, they, they're kind of crazy. I don't know what the requirements are at your shelter. Mine was pretty relaxed. Um, I just walked in, told them, you know, my plans and that I was wanting to foster for a couple of weeks, maybe about a month. 
and they told me that would be fine that any amount of time out of the shelter would be helpful to the cats because to be honest um they just don't get a lot of time out of the shelter so um one thing i have to get used to is cleaning a litter box because my dogs go outside to use the restroom so that's something that i wasn't used to so let me show you their habitat it's a bathroom and they will escape immediately so i always leave the other door locked whenever um whenever we're not in here it is kind of smelly um i'm trying to figure that out i've been using odor band but i'm not sure if i need to try something else of course i'm not spraying it on any of their things but I'm spraying it like over here in the corners and on the curtains because oh they'll be stinking um i've been cleaning out the litter box uh twice a day um right now i'll probably try to figure out a way to make it as sanitary as possible They've been eating pretty good, I'll say. Um, they like the wet food better than the dry food. That's usually the case, but um, they ate a little bit of their dry food and they've been really playful and really energetic. So I'm hoping their respiratory issues will clear up. Um, they'll play with pretty much anything. I was gonna get cat toys, but then I just realized like everything is a toy to them. Uh, garbage can, a tote, a little bouncy ball, um, but they're having a good time. I'm not going to worry too much about them. The animal shelter is paying for any of their medical expenses, so if they do happen to need another round of uh, medicine, then that is something that would be covered. And the animal shelter also hooked me up with um, some litter and some cat food. So that was something that was really nice because if you're fostering, you know, it's not always something that, you know, you're going to be able to be super affordable, especially if you don't want to have a pet long term, you don't want to buy all the stuff for them. It's nice to have a little bit of supplemented from the animal shelter. Honestly, it's been really fun just playing and like hanging out with them because they're super playful and energetic and just kind of reminds you what it's like to just be curious again, just be kind of, you know, open to anything. And they are certainly that. They're all the time crawling on everything. And my biggest hope for them is that they can find a home that, you know, really appreciates them and that they don't have to go together, but it would be wonderful if they did. Um, their adoption fee is really cheap. I think right now it's $25 and then it jumps to $85 when the promotion is over. So I think they've got about a couple more weeks of that. It's been fun. This was my birthday present to myself to become a foster. Um, previously, I tried to foster a dog, but it just didn't work out. It didn't get along with my dogs and we didn't have an area to be separate. So I'm thankful that I'm able to try this. I think that this is going to go well. And I'll probably report back to you guys in a week or so to kind of tell you how it's been going. I have literally never had a cat in my adult life. So if I can foster, I feel like you can foster too, especially if that's something that you're interested in because it didn't take that much work. Honestly, it just takes a little bit of research and just having the ability to care for something other than yourself and having the ability to just kind of you know, take it as it comes. Don't worry too much and everything will work out. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video about my first 24 hours with my foster cats. We are going to go back to playing. Thanks for watching.